how to use uh, the debugging and apply code changes feature in uh, Codename 1, which really isn't a Codename 1 feature, but rather a Java IDE feature that's available in NetBeans and Eclipse. But people, especially those coming from J2ME, but also regular Java developers, aren't very familiar with that capability that's standard in Java, but unavailable in J2ME and a bit difficult to utilize in J2SE. So here I'm running the kitchen sink under the standard debugger. And if you're not using a debugger for out of habit because of them being slow or problematic in some nature, I strongly suggest that you do use the debugger uh, because it's, it makes your life so much easier. Now, let's show you something simple. I can go into the dialog screen and just show a dialog, and that's great. Now, say I want to change the title of this dialog. Now, restarting the application, compiling it, and then running it again is some, sometimes tedious. The HTML guys have it easy because they can just, you know, ch make a change, save, reload. The thing is that so can we. I can just change uh, this to show something, and in and I can change the title of the dialog to be uh, something like this. And now I can just go to debug and use apply cone changes. Now this is the procedure in NetBeans. It's slightly different in Eclipse. Notice that there are some limitations. I can't, for instance, add variables or refactor classes or all sorts of things like that. But when you're debugging and you run into something that you think needs to fix, you can do that on the spot. And as you can see, it's applying the debug fix right now. And the moment it finished, and that's it, it finished, I can just go back right here to the simulator. Now notice the title didn't change because the form wasn't recreated. But if I go to the dialog, the title did update. Now, to actually see the change here, I need to leave the screen and effectively recreate it. And as you can see, the title here changed. Now, I don't want these changes, so obviously I'll just undo them. And I'll undo this. And just apply the change again. Right here in the debug. And again, you can do that as many times as you want and the ID effectively takes care of everything. This is slightly slower here because of my class path issues and things like that. It would be faster on your machine, assuming it's a reasonably uh, modern machine. But this just is much faster than just relaunching every time. So as you can see, everything is restored back to normal. And you can use this in your everyday programming and just shorten your development times considerably thanks to this feature. Now imagine just stopping on a breakpoint, actually fixing the bug and applying it on the spot instead of restarting, recompiling, and running. Even with the fast emulator that we have in Codename 1, it's still a bit of an effort. So this makes it even easier than it was before. So thanks for watching, and please use that feature in Codename 1, obviously. Thank you.